So in this video, we're going to be learning about variables in C. So what a variable is, is it's just a way of storing data within a computer. When I create a variable in my program, what I'm doing is I'm assigning a, a chunk of the RAM in the computer's memory to be a certain value. So whenever I use an integer on my computer, I'm uh, assigning four bytes of memory to store whatever value I put in the variable. And variables also have types. The reason they have different types is because different types are represented different ways in uh, memory. If I try to store uh, say an integer in memory, it's going to be represented differently than if I try to store a boolean in memory. Even if I take two data types with the same uh, size, so if I take say um, a signed integer and an unsigned integer, even though I'm storing the same amount of data each time, the way they're stored and represented in memory uh, is different, which is why we have different data types. So let's create a variable. So I'm going to create a char. So I'm going to type the word char, and then I'm going to give it a name, then I'm going to set it equal to um, some value that is one character long. So I'm just going to put in an f for the value. I can't store more than one character. If I try to put in fr, it's going to give me an error because a char can only store one character um, at a time. Each char can only store one character because a char is one byte in length, and a character is one byte in length. Characters in UTF-8 can be more than one byte in length, but the uh, standard characters in UTF-8 that have been copied across from ASCII just use one byte. So we can put an F in here and it'll take one byte of the computer's memory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to output this. I'm going to put a, a percent %C in here because C is how we output a, how we format a character using printf. Then I'm going to give the um, variable we want to output and then I'm going to run this. So we're going to type gcc uh, learn.c-o and then we're going to give it the word learn. So we run that, we don't get any errors or warnings. So now if we type slash learn, you'll see we get the letter F uh, printed out to us. If I try to store, let's try to store my name in a char, you will see we'll get an error. So if I try to compile this, you see multi-character constant uh, is why we're getting a warning. Uh, that's because to store a character we use single quotes, to store a string we use multiple quotes. That's what this first error is about. Uh, and then here we're getting um, the error because the character constant is too long for each type because we're trying to store more than one character in a, in a data type that can only store one character at a time. So let's try and store an integer now. So I'm going to say int, let's say um, test, is equal to the value 10. And I'm going to say printf. Uh, I'm going to format it as a decimal and I'm going to print test out. So let's just compile this, and you see we get 10 printed out to us. What I can also do is I can say int test uh, is equal to 10 plus 5, or 10 plus 5, and we will get the result of that um, mathematical operation, which is 15. Then what we can do is we can actually create a short int, which is an integer, but it's uh, smaller than an integer. It's only 2 bytes in size. Uh, we can we can uh, use this syntax here, short int, or we can just use short because it's the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the value 30,000 in this short. You see we get 30,000 uh, echoed out to us. So if I run Python, I say print uh, 2 to the power of 16. You see that's the maximum value we can store in a short. So you can see here we got minus 1. The reason for that is we're uh, using the wrong um, printf formatter. So we need to change this to a hu, uh, that's just the format code for printing out an unsigned short. When we print that out, what will happen is we get the value we wanted. We also get the, the uh, minus one here because what happened was our short overflowed its value, so we need to print it out as an unsigned short to get the maximum value possible. You'll see if we change this back to uh, a decimal, and we change this to say 32,000, we should get the exact value we want. You see we get 32,000. That's because by default, um, values in C are short. Sorry, values in C are signed and then to output them as unsigned values. we uh, It's good practice to do unsigned before the value and then to also output it as uh, an unsigned uh, value when we're formatting it. In C, when you have a signed data type that overflows its value, it's called undefined behavior, which means you don't actually know what it's going to do. 
but if you have this set unsigned and then you format it correctly, you'll get the value you wanted and you don't have to worry about undefined behaviors. So let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to a uh, double. Let's create a double called D and we'll set it equal to 100,000. And let's print this. We just use the decimal uh, formatter for this one. And we run this. So the reason we've got this warning is because uh, doubles can hold floating point values and we're trying to output it as a decimal value which means it can't be floating point. So that means we have to put a, a percent %f in here to format it as a floating point number. So let's run this. Uh, run, oops, don't want to clear it. I want to run the program. You can see we get 100,000.000. Uh, and um, a double is accurate up to six decimal places. So finally what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to create a string in C. So if I try to create a string called test and I set it equal to a string like I would in Python for example. Oops. And I print this out as a string and I give it the name test. You'll see we'll get an error. So if I type gcc learn.c-o learn, you see we get an error. That's because string isn't a data type in C. There's no identifier called string. So the way we do it is we create an array of characters. So you'll see here, if I go into Python and I create test and I set it equal to hello world. And now if I try to print out test, you'll see I get the entire string printed out. But if I want to print out, uh, say, a single character in the uh, string, the way I do that is I say print test as I would to print out the entire string. But here I use the array uh, syntax and I just put in the index of the character I want to uh, print out. So if I want to print the first character, I want to get the character with a zeroth index in the array, which in this case I would put a zero in here to access the character at the, at the index zero in the character array. If I hit enter now, I'll get H uh, printed out to us. So the same is uh, true in C. So the way I create a character array in C is I create a regular character uh, using the char keyword, but I just create an array. So I put the array syntax uh, after the name of the variable and I use this syntax, the double quotes, to create an, an array of characters. I could do this uh, and create it like this. Um, I'm not going to do all the characters but you see the, um, the way you do it. You create an array and you can fill each individual uh, item in the array like that or you can use this syntax which is probably the easiest to create an array of characters uh, one after the other. Uh, that's what the double quotes mean in C. So if I print this now, uh, if I say gcc learn.c minus o learn, we get no errors and if we try to run this, you'll see we get hello world printed out to us. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.